Toucan? <laughs> ah! Does scarf count? <laughs> Did lemons count? <laughs> no! Grape soda? Grape Ice Shasta, soda. grape soda. Just yeah. grape flavored soda in general. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Hi guys, welcome back to the YouTube, YouTube family. family! And today we're going to play a slumber party game. This is a great game where you can play with more than one person, obviously. The more people you have, the crazier it gets. So we actually played this at a youth group activity that we went to this past week, and it was a lot of fun. Everybody was laughing, and so shout out to you guys that I played this with, or I watched play this. It's really fun. They didn't know the name of it, so they made up a name for it, but I went online and found out the history of this game, and it's quite interesting. This game dates back prior to the Civil War. I don't know where it originated, but it's called Pretty Bird in My Cup. So how you play it is that you have this tiny little cup, or you can use like a little cap of a water bottle, just something that holds a tiny bit of liquid, and you're going to put some water into the cup, and then we're going to start off with, since it's called Pretty Bird in My Cup, we're going to start off with a bird name. So I'm going to be the one that starts. I'm going to choose a bird. Then we're going to go around, and I'll say, Jake, name a bird. David, name a Easy. bird. Ty, name a bird. And if you guys name the bird that I name, you get water splashed in your face. It comes out of the cup. Okay, just and then, the most exotic bird. And then that person goes next. Yes, that's the trick of the game, what Jake said. You want to name things that you think the person won't be able to guess. That way you don't get water splashed in your face. <laughs> so I am going to write these down because we don't want cheating. So I'm going to take over here and write down what my bird is. This is the bird. Okay, we're going to now fill up my little cup with water. I'm gonna do about halfway full because that's a lot of water, yo. <laughs> okay, Jake. A chicken. Robin. Ostrich. Does a rooster count as uh, like a chicken? Yes. Or... Sure, I'll let it. And oh yeah, also if you name a bird that's already been named, then you get water in your face and then that round ends. Oh, okay. Okay, ready? Emu. Penguin? Turkey. Macaw. Peacock? A hummingbird. A blue jay. Toucan? <laughs> ah, I okay, time. It's your turn. You're going to go think of a color. So you're gonna write down a color and then we have to come up okay. with the colors. My strategy on this is to think back with the Crayola crayon boxes and go with the big 64 color. So like the weird ones, oh, I'll, you'll hear some of the weird ones they come up with. Do you have a strategy? I'm just going with weird colors. Oh. So I personally love David's strategy, so I'm gonna do the same. And I think I know some really old Crayola names. I don't even know if they're current, but I know they were when I was a kid. All right, so Ty is not gonna show you what he wrote so you get to play along but the fun thing is, is you're not gonna get water in your face but if you <laughs> yeah. picked his color comment down below I picked team short stuff's color um, mustard yellow I like no turquoise aquamarine lime maroon cornflower that's yes, a color a shade of blue that's very <laughs> light cornflower is baby blue a color yeah yes yeah okay robin a blue till I'm just gonna say gray or a skin. Gold. Cyan. Oh, that's a good one. Cyan. Oh, see, I'm not listening really quick. Silver. You get to do it and think of it. Let's see the silver. Let me see the card. No way. Jack Silver. Okay. Good job. Good job. Okay, Jake, what do you want the topic to be? Let's do fruits. Fruits. All right, so my strategy with fruits are going to be, we're gonna try exotic fruits, because I don't think Jake knows all the exotic ones, but I think only know like three. He's gonna do dragon fruit. Okay, all right. I'm not gonna do dragon fruit. I think I wanna do basic fruits. I'll start with pie. Grapefruit. Durian fruit. Orange. Apple. Kiwi. Pineapple. Pear. Plum. Mango. Grape. A apricot. Peach. Hey, it's not like a. It's, it's like not. a peach, but it's not. Uh, peach. Mango. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't do it. Oh, I did it. Oh, you're 
it in one line. <laughs> oh yeah, just to show, it was dragon fruit. I you knew said. it! I, I said that was never gonna do that. Do you wanna do veggies? Does your animals. Animals. Okay, animals. animals. We could be here a while. <laughs> Four-legged animals. Yeah, four okay. Okay. My strategy for animals is going to try to go with extinct animals first. I'm gonna name brown animals. I'm gonna just do common animals. All right. I don't think Ty knows how to spell this, so I know he didn't write this down. Stegosaurus. I know. So I did extinct animals. Count. Should we say extinct animals don't count? Nope, they can count. A triceratops. Oh my gosh. Fine. I'll go with. No more extinct. I'll go with alligator. Um, I'm going to say a horse. How about a crocodile? How about a manatee? Pig. Wait, manatee? Does it have like two little arms and little? Yeah, but you said it, a four. You I guess it only has four. something cool. in the back as a flipper. Okay, I will say a turtle. Pig. Wait. Oh, I said it. Ah! <laughs> okay, he got me. Okay, Katie is gonna go with clothing, which is gonna be kinda tough because there's maybe a dozen things. So far, I am the only dry person, and so I wanna keep my streak alive. I'm gonna go with, well, I'm not gonna tell you mine because everybody's listening. So I'm gonna hand the camera to Katie so that the water doesn't get thrown on the camera like Ty did, and we'll see what happens. Sweater. I'm gonna go with a hoodie. <laughs> PJs? PJs? Boxers. <laughs> oh. Oh, bikini? <laughs> this ugly Christmas sweater count because it's a sweater, but it's ugly. That's fine. Uh, overalls? <laughs> I got scared. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with a uh, t-shirt. Underwear. Was there already what kind? Because he said boxers. Like just underwear in general. Yeah. Whitey like, tighties. Underwear in general. Tighties. Socks. I'm gonna go with bras. Oh my. Beanies? Sweatpants. I'm gonna go with a ball cap. <laughs> uh, <laughs> think for a second. What is this called? I know what I'm trying to say, but I, well, I'm just gonna go for pants. A tuxedo. Prom dress. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> just keep I say it, it was, fine, I'll say sure, it's raw. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just normal dresses. Like, Wedding dress. Oh my. Dude, that was our next one! What is there left? Shoes count? Yeah. No, shoes. Uh. <laughs> Do scrunchies count? No, that's hair accessories. Three. Uh, wait! What is this? Two. Oh. Think. You have nothing else I, you want I, on your body? I, I know. I, One. I have an ugly sweater. Do normal sweaters. Sweater said sweater. Siri did oh. it. Okay. Um, the best. A vest. Come on! <laughs> uh, church clothing, like the church shirt. Suit. A yeah, suit. suit. Thermals. <laughs> <laughs> what is your pet? Uh, jacket. Gloves. Parka. What's a parka? <laughs> a coat. <laughs> a sombrero, like a one of those. Uh, That's a hat. That's not a. Yeah, I was clothing. I got okay. some hat. other hats, which doesn't really count. Okay. I have a sombrero. Does scarf count? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it does. Who would have thought scarf? <laughs> My topic is vegetables. Uh, oh. You better know your vegetables. Okay, the boys are on the phones frantically go Googling exotic vegetables. Are you serious? Seriously? You're gonna cheat? I'm gonna fill this up all the way. Oh no. It's to the brim yeah, with a little bit of Alice. Oh, oh. <laughs> I hope I don't lose now. Okay, here we go. Brussels sprouts. Bok choy. Zuki. Can I see another drink? You're gonna have to keep refilling for him. Okay. <laughs> Squash. Squash. Um, rhubarb. Habanero. Pumpkins. Cabbage. Corn. <laughs> um, I, uh, no, not, I can't say it. Uh, potato. Turnip. Jalapeno. Carolina Reaper. Beets. Bell pepper. Ghost pepper. Spaghetti squash. <laughs> Spinach. Banana peppers. Oh my goodness. Tomato. <laughs> oh, what's that? Lettuce. Did lemons count? <laughs> no. Lemon uh, is a fruit. <laughs> what, what was your answer though? Peas. Jake just informed us 
that the next topic is types of soda. All right, I'm gonna ask you guys a question because this is a debate that has been going on for a long time. Do you say soda or do you say pop? Because that kind of determines what part of the country or what country you're from. I personally say soda pop. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say Fanta. Orange soda. Cherry 7 up. Ginger ale. Pepsi. Ginger ale. Cola. <laughs> Club soda. Grape. Shasta, grape soda, just yeah. grape flavored soda in general. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> grape, grape, Fanta. Oh, you got it. I thought you were trying to spell cactus cooler, which is an orange pineapple. Yeah, I, soda. Was, I was gonna do that one. Oh, if you guys try this game, let us know because even though it's a really old game that goes clear back prior to the fun. Civil War, this is a really yeah, fun what game. What happened to it? Where did it go? What happened? You guys should be playing this with like with your families and get-togethers and groups. Let's bring this back. This is a cool game. Anyway, that is it for today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.